I think it's pretty well known by now that SSDs offer much better performance than a traditional mechanical hard drive, which is why any new PC you buy today utilizes an SSD for its OS drive. Just like with everything else in life, not all SSDs are created equal though. If you're watching this, you're most likely aware there are currently two main types of consumer SSDs, SATA SSDs and NVMe SSDs, NVMe being the newer and faster of the two. On paper, when looking at the read and write speeds, a SATA SSD is no match for an NVMe SSD. However, when it comes to normal day-to-day -day tasks and the way the majority of consumers use their PCs, uh, is it really worth upgrading to an NVMe SSD if you already have a SATA SSD? That's the question I aim to answer in this video. For those that are curious just how much faster an SSD is than a mechanical hard drive, I threw in a 3.5 inch Western Digital Black 7200 RPM hard drive along with a Western Digital Blue SATA SSD and an Intel 660p M.2 NVMe SSD to compare. For those curious about the rest of my system specs, uh, you can check them out in the video description. I installed Windows along with a handful of games and a few pieces of other software I use on a regular basis uh, to all three drives and then ran through a series of tests to see what kind of performance increase the average consumer can expect to see. I ran each test three times and rebooted the PC between each test to get an accurate sample of just how long it takes for each application to load. For my first test, I loaded up a Photoshop document of the thumbnail from one of my most recent videos and found the Intel 660p NVMe drive and the Western Digital SATA SSD in a dead heat, both taking an average of 3.76 seconds to load the file. The mechanical hard drive came in a distant third place, taking an average of 8.2 seconds to load. For my next test, I loaded up the script for my Hasbro Black Series Mandalorian Helmet review video, uh, which you can check out in the cards or video description if you're interested. And once again, the SATA and NVMe SSD's average load time were in a dead heat, each one loading the file up in 3.66 seconds. Just like with the Photoshop document, the mechanical drive took more than twice as long, averaging a comparatively agonizing seven and a half seconds. I then moved on to what proved to be the shortest of all my tests, uh, loading Google Chrome. The Western Digital Black 7200 RPM mechanical hard drive clocked in at an average of 3.9 seconds which sounds decently fast until you compare it to the 1.13 second average achieved by the SATA SSD and the 0.86 second average for the Intel 660p NVMe drive. This was my first test where the NVMe SSD was consistently faster than the SATA drive, but at the same time, it was only an average of 0.27 seconds faster on this test. Uh, which is barely over a quarter of a second. So the question is, are most people going to notice that difference? Most likely no. For my gaming tests, I chose five different titles, the first of which is Rocket League. This is the only test the 7200 RPM mechanical drive came somewhat close to matching the SSDs. After three runs, the mechanical hard drive had an average load time of 28.6 seconds from the time I launched the game in the Epic Launcher until I landed at the main menu screen. The WD Blue SATA SSD came in second with an average of 22.9 seconds, and the NVMe SSD came in with an almost identical average load time of 22.13 seconds. Since I was already in the Epic Launcher, I, you know, had to test Fortnite as well. I know there are tons of people that love to hate on this game, but it's still a very popular game, and I even enjoy playing it from time to time, so here we go. From the time I launched Fortnite until I landed at the lobby screen, the mechanical hard drive took just shy of 1 minute and 8 seconds on average. 
Of course, both SSDs were easily able to beat this time, but the result was a little surprising to me. Uh, I expected the longer it takes an application to load, the greater advantage the NVMe SSD would have with its significantly faster read and write speeds. I should mention the Intel 660p isn't exactly the fastest NVMe drive out there. In fact, it's one of the slower ones available, uh, but on paper, it's still a good three times faster than any SATA SSD. Loading Fortnite in my tests, however, yielded an average load time of 44 seconds for the Intel 660p. The WD Blue SATA SSD actually beat it by an average of 0.14 seconds in my tests. I do recognize this is a very narrow margin and that this result really falls into the margin of error category, uh, especially seeing as my testing methodology is simply watching on video frame by frame of when I launch the application to when it fully loads and then seeing how long that clip ends up. So officially, I guess I'm calling this test a tie between the NVMe and SATA drives, um, which could also be said of my Rocket League test, seeing as there was less than a second separating those two as well. Okay, moving on to the next game. I loaded up Shadow of the Tomb Raider and using the mechanical hard drive, the average time from clicking play until I landed at the main menu was 50.3 seconds. Once again, the SATA SSD and NVMe SSD were neck and neck with each other. The NVMe SSD did edge out the SATA SSD, however, with an average of 29.6 seconds compared to 30.53 seconds over the three tests I ran. Loading up Ghost Recon Breakpoint took the most time of all the tests I ran, with the mechanical hard drive averaging 1 minute and 38 seconds to go from clicking play to reaching the main menu. I was expecting the SSDs to load this up much more quickly than this, uh, but was kind of disappointed in the results I got. Uh, yes, they were faster, but not by nearly as much as I was anticipating. The SATA SSD averaged a load time of 1 minute and 21 seconds, and the NVMe SSD averaged 1 minute and 18 seconds. I had hoped that they would be under a minute, uh, but that obviously did not happen. The last game I tested with was The Division 2, and it should be no surprise the hard drive came in last place once again, averaging 1 minute and 17 seconds from pressing play to loading into the game's main menu. Our WD Blue SATA SSD came in second place with an average load time of 55.86 seconds, and our Intel 660p M.2 NVMe SSD took the crown once again, averaging a load time of 53.96 seconds between my three test runs. For my final test, I of course had to find out the difference uh, when loading into Windows. The time it takes your PC to go from off to fully booted and usable is probably the most important piece of this equation. As has been the trend for this entire video, the mechanical hard drive was by far the slowest at booting into Windows, averaging 31.43 seconds from the time I pressed the power button to the time my desktop appeared on screen. I should make it clear that this is a very fresh install of Windows, and so far I've only installed the applications I tested for this video. Uh, the, the more stuff you have installed on your PC, the longer it will take to boot up, especially if you have a bunch of apps running in the background and whatnot. Anyway, back to what you came here for. Our WD Blue SSD booted up in 12.13 seconds, which is more than two and a half times faster than the mechanical hard drive. And the Intel 660p shaved almost a full second off of that time, averaging 11.23 seconds from pressing power to landing at the desktop. So what did we learn here? When it comes to the common tasks most people use their computers for, a SATA SSD and an NVMe SSD are going to perform pretty comparable to one another. 
yes, the NVMe SSD is faster, and there are use cases where that additional speed will make a difference and save you time. But for the vast majority of consumers, the gains you'll see going from a SATA SSD to an NVMe SSD are pretty minimal at this point in time. Uh, and in my opinion, completely imperceptible when you're sitting there live letting them do their thing. So the moral of the story is whether you have a SATA SSD or an NVMe SSD, uh, either one is far better than having a mechanical hard drive. Now's a good time to do the YouTube things if you haven't done them already. And if you'd like to pick up a SATA or NVMe SSD or even a mechanical hard drive for that matter, uh, please check out my Amazon store at the link in the video description where I have links to all the drives I used in this video uh, as well as a bunch of other stuff I've featured in past videos. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you have a great day, and I hope to see you again in another video real soon. We'll catch you later.